Hello dear students, welcome to my channel Medical Glow by Dr. Hadi. This is your teacher Dr. Hadi. Today's topic is from biochemistry for advanced level. The topic is gene expression or regulation of gene expression. This is uh, not a topic but the name of a chapter and this would be the first part. The second part will be the concept of operon. Most of the students they ask for this topic lake operon but before I give some idea about lake operon before I deliver my lecture on lake operon I would like to say something about this topic regulation of gene expression this is this is most important topic of the uh, biotechnology before we, we start what is gene expression okay my dear students today is just uh, my lecture is not in Urdu but it is in, in in English and I would like to I would try my level best to use simplest words not tough vocabularies so I hope every student whether native English speaker or non native English speaker Asian they would definitely understand my lecture so please give us some focus before the topic uh, regulation of gene what is gene expression this is your topic regulation but let me tell you what is gene expression as we know very well that this is if we say that this is your DNA okay this is your DNA and in that DNA you have different parts suppose this is one part second part third part is a different parts in each part is called as a gene and we have discussed this inside our DNA one gene when this gene is transcribed in the form of messenger RNA uh, like this is a DNA so when another molecule is formed called RNA uh, that is messenger RNA this is a messenger RNA mRNA so this gene which was present in the DNA now it become in the form of messenger RNA uh, this is a, ki a kind of information that are present in the DNA and now these informations are copied in the form of messenger RNA remember this is a nucleic acid and messenger RNA is also a nucleic acid this messenger RNA will move march towards the ribosome towards the ribosome and what will happen there on the surface of ribosome you will notice that protein long chain protein will be formed the each circle represent amino acids and many amino acids when combined together they will give us a polypeptide also called as a protein and remember this protein which is made on the surface of ribosome by the help of messenger RNA the the, the information for the specific protein the information for the specific protein was already present in the DNA in the form of gene that gene was not transferred only the information in the gene was copied in the form of messenger RNA and with the help of this messenger RNA this messenger RNA mRNA we synthesized a long chain protein that is this protein which come to us will perform definitely some function in the cell yes this protein is not a useless thing it will perform some function maybe this maybe this protein is a regulator molecule maybe this protein is an enzyme maybe this protein is an enzyme and then this enzyme will perform some activity inside our cell inside our body so this process is called as gene expression look this was a gene in the DNA and you know in human there are thousands of genes and these genes whenever we use the word expression means the gene is copied in the form of messenger RNA and from this messenger RNA we make a protein on the surface of uh, ribosome so this was just gene expression a topic of uh, FSC level students but this lecture which is uh, for master level students for advanced level students so in this lecture we will move little bit 
forward in more depth. Now, regulation of the gene expression. This means that there must be some sort of check and balance. Now, your topic starts now. There must be some sort of check and balance. Check and balance. Means in our body, if you have genes and sometime we want a gene to express itself continuously at a more or less constant rate means we don't want that gene to stop for 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 some time when we don't want that gene to express very high so sometime we got a gene like this and such genes don't require any regulation because we need them all the time. We don't want them to go up or down. Okay, fine. But inside our cell, we have some genes that we want to stop when required. And we want to start when needed. So this kind of check and balance, stop and start, you want a gene to stop or you want a gene to start means if you want some protein if you want some protein you must start that gene expression and if you don't want that protein you must stop that gene uh, expression so this is a kind of check and balance check and balance you want you don't want because your body is uh, in such a condition that sometimes it need some genes to express but others time it don't want that genes to express so this topic is called as regulation of gene expression and this is very important this is very important for growth development and differentiation we have we have these three terms in our body growth differentiation and differentiation and development so for these three things we must have this regulation of the gene expression so now uh, moving a little bit more forward, uh, we have two types of gene expression that is positive regulation and negative regulation. First, what is positive regulation? If you want to increase the expression of gene, if you want to increase the expression of gene, this is the increase the expression of gene, uh, increase the expression of gene. This is called as positive regulation means you want you want more and more product you want to express that gene it's called uh, positive regulation and and with the help of some molecule you need some signal to start positive regulation this signal will be in the form of some molecule that will induce positive regulation these molecules will be called as Positive regulators, they will be called as positive regulators. And so you don't worry about regulators. These are molecules inside your cell that will induce positive regulation. That means that they will uh, signal, they will give a signal for increased gene expression. And it's not possible that some magic word will come. No, no. For every process, there must be some molecule to start that process. And then we have negative regulation. In the negative regulation, the gene expression is declined. The gene expression is declined. Means if a protein is already synthesizing, now we want to stop that process. So here, if... Uh, here we write the decrease in the expression, decrease expression of the gene. So these two are the opposite of each other. If you don't want a gene to express, then this will be called as negative regulation. And once again, it is not possible that a gene itself automatically stop its work. No. A gene is always under the signal, under the command of something else. A gene is always waiting for some signal and if that signal is for positive regulation the gene will start expressing and if it is for negative regulation it will stop expressing so 
any molecule that start negative regulation they will be called as negative regulators and these are also the part of your cell these are present in your cell already now we will come to the next topic within this topic that is constitutive genes and inducible genes there are two types of genes in this topic one is called as constitutive genes and second one is called as inducible genes let me draw this here is it okay so here the first one is consti consti constitutive genes constitutive genes and the second one is inducible genes inducible genes there are two types of genes according to this topic regulation of gene expression the first one which is called as constitutive genes these are such genes which are required in the body but through a, for a continuous time means we want their product uh, throughout the time throughout the day so we need these enzyme oh sorry these genes we need these genes for all the time for all the time I mean these genes are not subjected you can write not subjected for regulation what is mean by this not subjected for regulation means these genes will not be given a signal to stop or to start no signal because they are required continuously their products in the form of protein is required continuously we want them all the time so if you want something all the time then there is no need to increase or decrease it so such type of genes are present in our body for example the gene for the citric acid cycle citric acid cycle uh, is uh, a chemical reaction of the carbohydrate metabolism of the glucose metabolism this is uh, a very well known re chemical reaction that is taking place in almost every cell of the body and our uh, our body need that process continuously so the gene of this chemical reaction biochemical reaction are called as constitutive genes and on the other hand so can, i can write the example as a, a, a genes for the krebs cycle citric acid cycle okay sorry this is citric acid cycle genes for citric acid cycles now on the other hand inducible gene these genes are opposite of the constitutive genes means these are such gene that we require in our body for some time means uh, sometime we want uh, more products and sometime we want less product and we, we want to stop so in in a very simple word inducible genes are those genes which are subjected to which are subjected to to what subjected to regulation which are subject subjected to regulation means which are subjected to check and balance sometimes we want to uh, decrease it and sometimes we want to increase it so the, the the two words in the in the in the beginning of my lecture which which was positive regulation and negative regulation the positive regulation and negative regulation can be applied on the inducible genes only but not on the constitutive genes so there are so many genes in our body majority of the genes they are under a control means they are uh, subjected to regulation sometime we want to increase it and sometime we want to decrease it so uh, here we use a word inducer and repressor 
here we have two words one is inducer and the second one is repressor repressor inducer uh, always they increase the expression of these genes uh, i would like to write this sign this is for increase increase the expression exp ex expression and repressor what is the repressor repressor are those molecules which decrease the expression decrease the expression so a repressor is not a gene it is some it is a molecule that decrease the expression of gene they are called as repressor and inducer are those molecule which increase the expression of the gene so the concept of inducer and repressor is always under the heading of the inducible genes i hope you go, uh, you got this topic uh, that was regulation of the gene expression inshallah after that topic of gene regulation this is just the part one we will discuss the next topic of lac operon most of the students they don't ask me about this topic but they usually they say say something about lac operon so before we discuss the incoming lecture of lac operon operon concept or this topic is most important so i hope first my students get this understand it get it very well properly and then we will shift to that topic of lack of pyram until here i hope you enjoyed my video you, you enjoyed watching this video thank you very much remember us in your prayers bye bye